Hello and welcome everyone. In the last tutorial, we have coded for the attach button that attaches file name and displays it in the J list, and at the same time, it uh, adds the absolute part to the array list A1 and the name of the file to the array list A2. In this tutorial, we are going to delete the file name from the J list as well as the same file that we are selecting from the array list a1 and a2 as well so that the send button then takes the file from the array lists and mails into the sender so we'll begin with clicking the delete button right clicking go to events action and action performed and i have already written the code here uh, sorry i have already made the try and catch block here and the name of the button is fire so we'll begin with creating the object for the default list model say default list model name it as model1 equals to in the bracket type default list model outside the bracket type the name of the array uh, sorry array list j list that you have made and named it as list1 dot get model method okay so in the next line create a integer name it as index and assign it value list1 dot get selected index so the index that you have the file that you are going to select it will take the index and it will store it in the integer index okay so what this index will do is call the array list object a1 and call the method remove index so it will remove that particular file from the array absolute path from the array list a1 same thing for the array list a2 dot remove index with this done the files will now be deleted from the array lists now, now we have to delete it from the uh, list j list so create another index integer call is as count equal to list1 dot get selected indices dot length okay. it determines it takes the length of the number of files present in the array list sorry j list and call a for loop say integer i is equal to 0 i is less than count that is number of files you have chosen and i plus plus in the block of for loop what you have to write is call the object model name dot and call the method remove elements at and pass argument list one dot get selected index so here with this line the file from the j list uh, the file from the j list will be removed and if everything works fine the code will run absolutely perfect we'll just run it and see so the window is displayed here and we have firstly we have coded for the attach button so first of all we'll uh, add some files to the j list i'll add a image file which is attached i'll add another two three files and then we'll delete them another jpg file and now i will add a, a pdf file this one okay and the last file what that does okay so i've added four files in the j list but i don't want the second and the first file to be sent so i'll select them using the control key and I'll click the delete button. The two files are successfully deleted from the JList as well as from the array list A1 and A2. In the next tutorial, we are going to code for the send button that sends the file that are stored in the array lists and it will mail them. I hope that you have learned something today and take care. Have a nice day.